Okay. Um, in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at how to create a a very simple um, custom a module for uh, the Torque 3D engine. Now, if you watched the earlier videos, you would have seen that the module loop is um, the, the module initialization loop is run on uh, which call on the torque initialization or the torque engine initialization. So um, when that is run, anything that has been declared in this particular fashion uh, will have its initialization routines uh, actually I get this is basically a constructor um, it'll have these run so this this basically is where you would want to start actually doing work on a engine subsystem so here myself I'm working on two uh, a window to texture mapping engine subsystem this is using the print window API and a speech recognition engine module this is using the Microsoft speech recognition stuff so the idea behind this is to utilize uh, my own natural speech in a way that allows me to manipulate uh, how you say manipulate applications but within a 3D window. I'm not sure if this is an existing patent but this is within the Torque 3D engine. That is where my implementation will differentiate from others. But as the documentation will all be available you should be able to follow along and do what you need to do um, as these things uh, develop. But right now they are completely undeveloped. They're unripe entirely. Um, as you can see they're just empty. The reason that I have them both here uh, as empty modules is to show you how easy it is to create this. Now understand that these header files are empty. There's nothing in them. Um, they are a filter or a directory, whatever you want to call it. Um, a filter in Windows parlance. parlance under source so create a filter for whatever you want they don't they can be named whatever you want this right here the module begin module end is the only thing that really matters uh, this is my camel case syntax you can have whatever syntax you want whenever I'm in Windows I like to use the syntax uh, so yeah without any further ado I'm gonna go ahead and start the local debugger it has to build first <clears throat> you can see Torque when main. Um, this is the same exact project that um, I was working on in the last video. So nothing has changed. The breakpoints are still there. But in this time, if I continue it, you can see that instead of stopping uh, in the application, it actually hits the breakpoint here in the speech recognition uh, engine module. Now it has to be uh, initialized after the decal manager, which has been set. Um, and the reason for this is because when I was enumerating the modules through the module um, loop analysis I was doing earlier, I found that the decal manager was the last loaded uh, engine module. I think the sound effects are generated after, but I don't know if they have a module in it routine. I don't think they do. I don't remember 100%. But, yeah, so initialized after the decal manager, whereas with this one, it was initialized after the speech recognition. So the speech recognition loads first, this loads next. So if I continue it, you'll see that now, since speech recognition is loaded, the window to texture mapping engine module will be loaded. Um, this is just going to allow me to generate uh, textures from windows that are running in the background. So if I have a window launched for whatever reason and it's hidden, um, I can just get a snapshot of it and render it like a frame. So that'll be useful for creating the 3D operating system that I'm working on. But let's just continue. Okay, so here you see I have this breakpoint set. This is in the um, module manager. Uh, this just shows you when all of the modules are downloaded. So you can see ours were loaded and they were initialized and that's where we're at. So now our code is actually in memory. 
So if we wanted to create threads in that initialization, if we wanted to do anything, you know, integrate with other modules, we could at that point. So just very good to know. So anyway, I'm going to continue this and the application should start in a second. Hopefully it doesn't break again. Oh, it did break again. Okay, I have to disable this. Continue. I'll have to disable this too. This is from the last video. Continue. Where are we at in here? Continue. See, uh, these are all for the C interfaces where the loop is. I'm just disabling breakpoints. There we go. So now our code should be loaded, should be accessible from within the engine itself. It's a little bit slow because it's in a debugger and I have a gazillion things running in parallel to this, but can exit. Now if we exit, hopefully the module unwinder will unload our modules and we'll hit the breakpoints therein. So torque engine shutdown, let's go ahead and continue. So hopefully, yep, here we go. Um, it This time, since they were loaded in the specific order, um, it unloads the texture mapping, uh, the window to texture engine, window to texture mapping engine module first. And then it does the sound recognition, the speech recognition. So that's it. So when we're working with modules, just want to remember this is where we come in and this is where we exit. Um, there are additional macros that you can utilize. Um, and they are in module.h, here you can see. Module.h is in the, the what you call, in the engine source code. That's the path if you wanted to actually look it up. Make it easier if you're watching this. I keep saying your, I mean my, or me, or whatever. If I am watching this. Oh, do, do, where is it? Yeah, the macros are way down at the bottom, I remember, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, that's module, that's CPP. I want module.h. Uh, hold on. Open file. Yeah, here are the macros. Uh, you can see we have basically what they say a module definition should look like, line 168 of module.h. Module begin, init after, init before. Uh, shut down before <coughs> um, module in it module shut down I'm not sure if we should shut down before sim or not because I don't know if we're going to be using sims I think we actually should do this shut down before sim I'm going to add that to my code right now before I forget. Uh, sim, I believe, is for simulated objects, and simulated objects are things that are simulated in the 3D em engine. Uh, and if we shut down before sim um, logically my my mind thinks that well if we do it after sim like we might run into trouble not sure I think I think so anyway we're gonna continue and the application is exited so I'm going to rebuild it. And I want to make sure these two entries that I added haven't messed anything up. Because that would make this entire video erroneous. Doo, 
do, okay, continue, continue, init, continue, init, continue, modules have finished loading, okay. Application is loading, exit, engine shutdown, continue, module shutdown, okay, so no problems. No obvious problems. And we're out. Yeah. So uh, that's a quick overview of the module creation process in Torque 3D. Um, since this engine has virtually no documentation, I'm sure this will be appreciated by somebody someday. But for right now, um, just for me. <laughs> okay, stop in the recording.